see the little turbine in there. That was it. We wanted to get back to the land, and um, that's how it evolved. Tico and Maureen Eastgate live in the beautiful countryside of Fiji. It's a world away from their old urban life. The Eastgates used to live in the city of Suva, where they owned a couple hotels and a floating restaurant. And getting back to nature was the motivating force. Having lived in a sort of fishbowl existence in town. Fed up with the noise and congestion of city life, the Eastgates sold the restaurant and headed for the hills. Leaving Suva meant giving up easy access to markets, their circle of friends, and a connection to the electric grid. They bought a plot of land and some animals, but soon electricity became a central concern. Yeah, our original power system is by generator mm -hmm. with a bank of uh, deep cell batteries mm -hmm. and an inverter. And we would run it two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening to build up the batteries. But soon they turned to a resource already on their property, a small waterfall. With help from Fiji's Department of Energy, Tico installed a small hydro generator capable of putting out 300 watts. And this, is, this is 240 AC, and this goes up to the control box in the garage, and then from DC it charges the battery, and then it goes back through the inverter and converts back to AC, and then that runs the whole house. How much of this did you know before you got started? I, I didn't know much at all. <laughs> uh, this is all hands-on work. Uh, the East Gates water doesn't fall very far, so the turbine generates at half capacity, about 150 watts. That will power a television or computer from time to time, but it's not nearly enough to keep an ordinary refrigerator plugged in or to use a microwave, and forget about a dishwasher or hairdryer. Attention to every last watt now shapes how the East Gates plan their days. We're communicating all day on, on usage of power, she asked me, how is, the, how is the power at the moment? Can I iron? I said, yeah, go ahead, do 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So she grabbed three or four shirts and do her. And, and I have to plot the next, the day before. Like if I'm going to use the oven, mm -hmm. I can only uh, do one wash first and then use the oven or plan baking the next day after. <laughs> mm. Next, Tico and Maureen plan to start raising pigs to make methane. They'd like to use the methane to run the generator as a backup for their turbine, in case a dry spell hits their part of Fiji. So, uh, yeah, it makes you realize that you know you you got to live within your means yeah. of what you have. This is like uh, a dream every day. It's, it's such a pleasure getting up in the morning and looking forward to doing things. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Sandra Upson.